Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1991 European Generation 1 exclusive figure, this is Charger. So in this video we're going to have a detailed look at him in this mode because unfortunately he doesn't transform but we're also going to look at Fire Beast which is the partner that comes with him and he sort of transforms but he basically combines with Charger with in my opinion quite a cool little gimmick. So before we get started I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel if I'd hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and also to remind you that there are videos on other rare figures like this action master uh, including bombshell as well on this channel already so yeah these as i said were european exclusives um, and as i say in some cases they took some main characters and in other cases they introduced a completely new one so this came out in 1991 just at the very tail end of transformers and again these split the fandom massively back then and they still do now because they don't transform however in this day and age there's so many more transformer related figures model kits etc that again don't transform but they're still called transformers right the figure itself if we take away the gun for a second let's just have a quick look at him he's got a brilliant looking head sculpt to be honest which you can turn around that's the bit of articulation there there's a lot of articulation in the shoulders they'll spin all the way around the rest of the arm is fused as is the wrist there's no waist swivel but the legs um, will go out to the sides all the way to the front and all the way to the back there is also a knee bend which you can see and i suppose the best description for these is these are just your standard three and a quarter inch action figures and the main reason for this is at the particular time in the early 90s uh, gi joe and the action force was outselling uh, transformers by doing very similar things so they sold figures like this and the play sets transformed which is of course what most of the action master figures did i love the detail on this guy he's got a gatling gun coming out of his stomach which is great um and again it's painted really really well i like the color scheme on it and he just although it's not your typical purple gray and black you can still tell instantly that he is a decepticon the gun that comes with him is also really interesting because it looks like it perhaps could be maybe the back end of a helicopter um and it, you know with this you can't tell what his alternate mode is whereas obviously with the thundercracker again another european exclusive you can still tell that obviously there's a front of the jet there's some thrusters there and with a few of the other figures you can tell pretty much what their alternate mode may have been but with this guy no clue whatsoever so that makes him even more interesting his partner that came with him as i say is called fire beast and he's again got probably the same amount of articulation uh, as the main figure so you can move all of the legs just at the top which would be the hips and the front they can move backwards and forwards you can also twist turn and rotate the gun i'm just wondering if this does anything i don't think it does and i don't want to apply too much pressure to it uh, but what the cool gimmick is if we have a look at this is if i press that forward you see that bit shoots forward and it acts as a battle mask battle pack for the actual action master himself so you can see there's just a hook there that you move with the tail so it just unclips it what we're looking to do then is fold the legs down totally out of the way now the only negative thing with this is <laughs> it's a huge backpack and i think you can guess what's going to happen yeah there you go so that's a bit negative unfortunately however if you position the arms forward just about enough it might it might counterbalance it perhaps it's not going to but i'm going to bring his arm down anyway just so you can see exactly what i'm going to show you so let's get the tail and over it flies and there you go that's his battle mask his gimmick that these european exclusives had which again i think is really cool it's just such a shame that you couldn't really do uh anything more with them and the other good thing as well is again i suppose for playabilities factor you could in fact mix mix them all up so that was fire beast this is the one that came with uh bombshell nearly forgot the name you can of course do the same with these and his will come over as well whereas bombshells as you can see is much better it's a bit smaller and it just fits a little more at the top so funnily enough it does actually suit its purpose and it will balance on him as i say nice little gimmick um i've done videos on tracks and on side swipe as well because they also had these european exclusives so they were exactly the same as the normal action masters so there's bonsai tron uh, again exactly the same size i'll just bring these in quickly just to give you again an idea of all these there we go right 
and again i suppose for people who collect in fact let me just bring in just a couple more g1 quite a bit smaller as you can see optimus prime you can't even see his head uh, but with regards just to a couple of today's figures to give you an idea of the size of these very small deluxe class bumblebee now a bit smaller than that uh, where's my core class Optimus Prime? Here he is. So just a little bit. I oh, know. There you go. Perhaps about as big as a core class figure. I think that's pretty much all there is to say about him anyway, because, yeah, he doesn't transform. Um, but he's just interesting and you may not have, may or may not have seen him. So, of course, I wanted to share him with you. There is other figures like this in the 1991 uh, playlist and as well as the separate European exclusive figures as well. So, ooh. Oh, there you go. I'm going to keep that in. It doesn't matter. Um, so there you go. This was where I was going to sign off anyway. So there's a free blooper at the end as well. This was and is the 1991 European exclusive Action Master. There you go. Hope you enjoyed looking at him. Take care.